Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Well, here's a little info that the Vatican is not going to like, not to mention the U.S. bishops. When Pope St. John XXIII became Pope, the very first encyclical he issued was called Ad Petre Cathedram in 1959. It was written and published barely eight months after he became Pope and addresses truth, unity, and peace all in the spirit of charity. The document consists of roughly 150 paragraphs, and so it becomes an interesting point that one of the very first things the Pope approaches as a major topic is the media. For example, from paragraph 16, again near the very top of the encyclical, radio broadcasts, motion pictures, and television shows which make error and vice attractive must be opposed by shows which defend truth and strive to preserve the integrity of, and safety of morals. And from the paragraph just above that, the weapons of truth then must be used in defense against these weapons of evil. Now there are two things that back in 1959 the Holy Father could not have foreseen. One, the internet becoming a dominant medium in the world of information. And second, the massive corruption of the hierarchy and its cover-up by Catholic establishment media. In fact, for the most part, the Catholic establishment media as we understand it today hadn't even been born yet, which was also the case, quite obviously, with the internet. But when you combine the two factors of corruption and a complicit media actively covering up that corruption, well, you get something no better than the Biden administration. Think back on the extensive plotting and cover-up it must have taken for the Catholic media to simply ignore all the news about the homosexual clergy sex abuse. Even though Catholic media were much closer to the individuals involved, the bishops and the priests, it took the secular media to uncover it. Then, once uncovered, the bishops took massive pains to skirt the actual issue of homosexuality in the clerical ranks, and, of course, the Catholic lapdog media was completely compliant. Even as the secular media was investigating and uncovering stories as far back as the 1990s and the early 2000s, like, for example, the Kansas City Star, about large percentages of priests dying from AIDS, the Catholic media sat on their hands, ignoring the voluminous information. The financial scandals, the sexual scandals, most of each category closely related, were never deemed sufficient enough to report on, certainly not to embark on any sort of long-term investigation. Meanwhile, the church was being attacked from within by all of this, and still not a peep, even to this day given the backing he gets from powerful prelates like Supich and Tobin, not to mention the praise and accolades from Bishop Robert Barron, James Martin and his homo heresy is considered completely off limits as a story by the Catholic media. So referring back to Pope St. John XXIII and looking at this crisis through his construct, again, the weapons of truth then must be used in defense against these weapons of evil Allow us to ask the direct question, why would any Catholic turn to the establishment media types in the Catholic world for any information? Think of the enormous, massive harm and damage done to just victims of all of this, spiritual and bodily. Does all that not constitute evil? And yet, when organizations like Church Militant come on the scene and begin reporting on all of it, we and others, are completely vilified by the bishops and their lackeys in the so-called Catholic so-called media. It's just like the secular media shilling for Biden. The Hunter laptop, Hunter laptop story is just one example. The border crisis, Biden's dementia, inflation, changing the definition of recession. The list is endless. So people turn to other sources for their info because the establishment media in the secular world cannot be trusted when what they are saying simply rings hollow at the gas pump, the grocery store, public schools, you name it. It takes a long time to establish credibility in this business and just a few minutes to destroy it. The Catholic media long ago lost all credibility 
owing to their participation in the cover-up of all the corruption. They are able to survive only because they never tick off the bishops and are therefore allowed to keep being parasites on the institution, as opposed to the watchdogs of it. The role of the media is to hold those in authority accountable. It is not to aid and abet them in crimes for financial gain. So you look over the current landscape and you ask yourself, what on earth would Pope John write today in an encyclical about truth? And just a brief reminder to sign up for a premium account here at Church Militant, where you get on-demand access to thousands of hours of truthful, hard-hitting content. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.